a symbol of a dark time in Oregon history, has just been removed from the old Multnomah County Courthouse. And so what this is, this is the jail cell that held Japanese-American attorney Minoru Yasui during World War II. And in this week's Where We Live, Ken Boddy explains why men's jail cell is being preserved as both a reminder and a warning. Who is going to give me back nine months of solitary confinement? Who can put a price tag upon that kind of confinement? There is no way. Minoru Yasui was an American, born in Hood River, Oregon, to Japanese immigrants on the family farm. The University of Oregon Law School graduate became the first Japanese American to practice law in Oregon. But World War II changed everything. Japanese Americans were placed under curfew under Executive Order 9066. In March of 1942, Minoru Yasui challenged the constitutionality of the 8 p.m. curfew by intentionally breaking it. He walked into downtown Portland's Central Precinct, was arrested, and held for nine months in the Multnomah County Courthouse as his case made its way to the Supreme Court. So this is the footprint of men's jail cell. Um, you can see two of these walls were bars. Lynn Fujigami Parks, executive director of the Japanese American Museum of Oregon, says men's jail cell will be in their new museum. And he's an American hero that really stood up for um, the principles of our country. Holly Yasui produced a documentary about her father. It's necessary for this story to not be forgotten, um, not only because it is a piece of history, uh, but because history does repeat itself um, if we are not uh, vigilant. The Supreme Court rejected Min's challenge. He went from the jail cell to a Japanese internment camp in Idaho. 120,000 Japanese Americans were interned during World War II. Released in 1944, Yasui spent his life speaking out against injustice. Today, of course, we're here blessed with the presence of official dignitaries saying that was wrong. Yes, indeed, it was wrong. Min Yasui became a civic leader in Denver, Colorado, and died in 1986 at age 70. In 2015, he was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor. To the end, he loved America. Although for nearly a year, his view of America was men's jail cell. Ken Boddy, Coin 6 News. Well, the Japanese American Museum in Northwest Portland hopes to open in February of next year. And by the way, the old Multnomah County Courthouse has been sold to a private developer who agreed to remove men's jail cell.